Hey, what is going on guys? So today on the channel, I'm going to show you how to install the original OS that came on your Mac when you first got it. So I accidentally did this the other day. I'm currently running High Sierra and let's just say some things went wrong and I ended up having to do a recovery and it actually ended up installing Mac OS X Lion on my MacBook Pro. And that's why you guys saw that video recently that I made using Mac OS X Lion in 2020. And by the way, if you haven't seen that one, be sure to check that one out on the channel. But I figured somebody might find this helpful. Maybe they just need to do a complete restore, start over from scratch, or maybe they just want to take a trip down memory lane and go back to an older version of Mac OS you know, just to see what it's like. This is really good to do on uh, your older MacBook or Mac, you know, because you probably don't use it anymore like I do, and you just want to play around with it. Now, you could also do this on like a brand new Mac. Maybe you just want to restore it completely, or maybe the normal recovery tools are not working properly, and you have to go this route. So to do this, we're going to be using the internet recovery tool that comes built into Mac OS. Now before we actually get started, I want to show you a few important exceptions here. So the version of macOS offered by Recovery might vary. So if Sierra 10.12.4 has never been installed on this Mac, it will install the macOS that came with your Mac. So if you erased your entire disk, instead of just the startup volume, it might only install the one that came on your Mac and that's exactly what happened to me and then you can upgrade to a latest version afterward that's how I ended up back with High Sierra from Lion. Also if you have the T2 security chip and you never installed an update it will install the version that was installed on your Mac and then if you had a logic board replaced during a repair it might only offer the latest version as compatible so there's a few things you can keep in mind and this is an official uh, Apple support document here how to install uh, reinstall macOS from macOS recovery So let's go ahead and just get started with this process now keep in mind that when you do this you are gonna erase whatever is on uh, Your hard drive so you may want to back everything up, but for me it really doesn't matter This is an old computer. I don't use it anymore, and I'm doing this just for fun All right guys, so once you get all your stuff backed up and you're good to go here we're gonna go ahead and restart. And once we hear the startup chime, we're gonna hit Shift, Option, Command, R. So once you hear that chime, just keep holding her down and you can let go. Once you see this pop up, so it says starting internet recovery, this may take a while, so just go ahead and wait for that to get done. All right guys, so once you actually do that, you're gonna notice that it should look a little bit different than what you were used to if you see the recovery screen. So whatever version that you had installed on your computer to begin with is going to show up right here. So in my case, it's Lion. So we're actually in the uh, Lion recovery mode and you can see even right here, it says reinstall Mac OS X lion so this is exactly what we want to see however to install lion we're going to need to completely erase our uh, disk first so you want to actually go into the disk utility and it's kind of cool you can even see that uh, this is the a uh, lion disk utility it looks a lot different than the one we have today doesn't it but we're just going to click up here you want to click on your main hard drive here up top then you want to click on the erase tab and you want to make sure it's Mac OS extended journaled and I'm going to rename this and you probably want to name it Macintosh HD whoops and you don't have to worry about deleting this over here because it's going to create a new one for you so that's why I said select all the way up top here on whatever your drive is. So yeah, once you do that, we can go ahead and click on the erase. And it says this will delete everything. So yeah, that's fine. Hit erase. And go ahead and let it do its thing really quickly. So it's going to eject the disk. It's going to erase it. 
and it's going to recreate a new clean Mac OS or Macintosh HD uh, partition for us. So should be done here in a second. And by the way, if you wanted a really secure erase, you could actually choose the security options here. And as you can see, it's already done for us. So we now have Macintosh HD and you can see 500 gigs completely free. So we should be good to go. But if you want to do a really secure erase, you hit security options and you can scroll it all the way over to most secure. So if you want to do that, it does take a really, really long time to do that though. So uh, just letting you know that. But anyways, once you get this done, you can actually click the X and now we can click reinstall macOS Lion. So whatever operating system is here, that's the one that is going to allow you to install. So it's going to take us into the setup wizard here for whatever operating system. We hit continue and continue. We hit agree. We hit agree. And then we can click on the hard drive here. So this is where it's going to install it. And that's the brand new clean partition that we just created. And we can go ahead and hit install. So now you just got to wait a little while. It's you know going to install Mac OS. It could take quite some time or whatever. You can see it's going down quickly but it's probably going to take a good you know 30 40 minutes or so i would say so i will come back whenever lion gets done installing all right guys so once it gets done restarting and doing everything it needs to do we are here in the mac os lion setup so you just simply go ahead and go through it like you would any mac setup all right so looks like we got everything set up now and there we are we are in a lion just like that so at this point you should be good to go whatever operating system came with your computer and that's basically how you do it using the internet recovery mode so guys that's all i got for you today thanks for watching as always subscribing and i will catch you all in the next video